So let me summarize how we solve Sudoku here. This is the main construct of our project, e of Sudoku. First, the switch is activated. As you will notice later, inputs for the switch correspond to messenger RNA encoding recombinases. For example, we imagine that the signal for number 3 or recombinase 3 comes into our cell first. The recombinase cuts out terminators between the recombination recognition sequences. Next, for example, the signal for number 1 enters. Then comes number 4. The construct at this stage, with signals entering in the order 3, 1, 4, will be like this figure. Let me show you the same construct in a clearer form. It will look like this. The coding region for clear recombinase resides in this construct, which has the ability to recognize two pairs of lock sites and excise the DNA sequence between them. Since one terminator exists upstream of the coding region of clear recombinase, the recombinase is not transcribed very frequently. However, as we have explained earlier, there is the possibility that the polymerase does not stop at the terminator and transcribes through it, especially when there is only one terminator. When the leakage takes place, clear recombinase is transcribed and translated. Then, the DNA between two pairs of lock sites is excised, and the construct will change in the way shown in this movie. Let me sort the construct again. Up to now, the original construct has been altered to a construct which outputs the signal for number 2 by receiving signals for the numbers 3, 1, and 4. Now, e transmits the number 2 signal and cell number to other e via virus. Let me explain the process. First, the sequence at the bottom of the figure is transcribed. This is the region which calls for the MS2 virus and SP6 polymerase. When SP6 polymerase is translated, the SP6 polymerase begins transcription of the central part of the figure. RNA transcribed here is emitted in the form of RNA virus. At first, the MS2 virus coding region is translated and the cold proteins are produced. The region which we call the loading sequence attracts cold proteins of the virus and then the RNA is packaged. Then, this virus infects other E. coli. At this point, as explained before, the RNA replaces translation. We consider the case in which E. coli that the virus is not targeted to is infected. In other words, E. coli which does not correspond to the same row, column, or block. When this happens, Translation of the infected RNA, which calls for a recombinase representing a particular number, is repressed. This repression is the result of the antisense RNA blocking ribosome entry into the RBS. Next, we consider the case in which the targeted E. coli is infected. In this case, the infected RNA is not translationally repressed by the antisense. As a result, the recombinase representing a particular number is translated. And as we explained at the beginning, the recombinase functions as the input to the switch.